Here's a triangle and I'm holding an opposite triangle here and if I fully compress this shape or if I push towards, if, if I push my hands together this whole shape just collapses into an octahedron. So here's an Archimedean shape that's become one of the five platonic solids. So I let go and it compresses back. If I do a half a compression just go halfway. If I go halfway, it actually forms the icosahedron. So if that's that's um, the full shape. If I press halfway, it's icosa, octahedron. And if I compress it again, we get we get a we get the pyramids. We get the pyramid that we're familiar with. And if we compress again, we actually get the omnistable tetrahedron the basic building block of all the universe. And when we let go, it forms the um, jitterbug. So his name, Buckminster, Buckminster Fuller's name for this cube octahedron was actually the jitterbug. Because when, it, when each time when he compressed it like this, it would, com it would alternate, it would oscillate left, right, left, right. When done correctly, when these are built perfectly, the twists of all the pressure that we're doing actually alternates like left, right, left, right in a coherent way. So this is known as the jitterbug effect and it's one of the keys to alchemy because as we'll see later in subatomic structures this triangle here represents like a tetrahedron